there, welcome back. So this past week I've been making a lot of spherical vessels, moon jars some people call them, and I thought I'd make a little video about how I'm doing it. So let's get started, let's get some clay. So as always, I like to start with a little bit of slap centering. For a larger amount of clay, it also helps. So then you know that it's in the middle, so then you don't have to work a little bit extra hard and wrestle the piece of clay later on. Then I like to seal it to the wheel with my finger. And this piece of clay is actually a little bit harder. This is a piece of reclaim that I have. So it's a little bit drier, I left it out, <laughs> maybe a little too long, we'll see. One of the tricks that I've gleaned from um, doing these on my own that helps me is making sure that uh, I'm not adding water to the vessel between lifts with the rib because for at least for this clay body it tends to weaken the clay structure a little bit so that really helps maintain the structure to keep it dry. And also if you've noticed I've kept the opening the same pretty much the whole time. Once we got the cylinder in its form at the tallest before I started moving out with the rib Pretty much the rim stayed the same size and that helps to also maintain where you're going to end. So even though the walls on the sides are changing, the opening at the rim is still maintaining the same position which also helps with the structure down the line. So the four main things that have been helping me to get these spherical vessels in this shape is one, making sure that when we put it up in the cylinder that it's thick enough because if the walls are too thin you're not going to be able to expand it very um, extremely. Uh, the second thing is making sure that the opening, once you have the height of the vessel, pretty much stays the same uh, because that is going to help maintain the structure and kind of tell the top of the vessel where it's going to be living and it kind of helps cement that shape a little bit more. The third thing is making sure that, uh, for me at least, not adding water too much on the sides because that is going to, uh, for this clay body at least, weaken the structure. So that's been a big help for me. And the fourth thing is also making sure that I'm using the um, a more rough ribs, so this is a wooden rib, to get those first shapes. And as you saw, it wasn't very circular at first. So that kind of gives you a gross um, motor type of approach first. And then after that, using a metal rib to help with those fine shapings and kind of shaving off those edges to make it very circular. And that has been something that has helped me, those four things, to make these vessels. So I hope that's helpful for you too. Let me put this down with the others now.